Joseph Green Mountain Gold Trap, December 11th. It's about 33 degrees right now, but I gotta get out and test that green mat. But first, I gotta go get rid of all my scrap polycarbonate and the old acrylic. So we'll catch you at the river in a bit. Some of you recognize this spot. The river used to come down from da up that way. <coughs> Excuse me. Now the old river channel is charged again. So we've got a nice, real sharp inside bend. I mean, that river's coming this way and then almost a 90 degree turn. So my buddy Adam, you guys seen him in videos. He did pretty good up and through here. So. And we did good over in here. Um, Coin and Ring guy and his wife Gail, we did really good over in here. So I know there's gonna be gold in this area. So I've got the, the gold trap set up. I already made sure it's running good. I had to build myself a dam all the way through there and build that up some. Adam started that dam, but I had to fix it some. So I've got good flow now. I'm gonna get set up and uh, Start running some material. Back in a bit.
All right, so I ran a little bit, but uh, somebody just showed up here, Wayne. <laughs> so we've had a little bit of plans to go try to do something here, a little bit of scouting. So I really want to go do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do a clean out. I've seen enough. I know what the you know what the what the matting will do. So now let's see if there's any gold in there. I'll do a clean out and I'll uh, I'll let you know. It looks like it's definitely going to capture gold behind it really good. I see some heavy black sands in here. Wayne thinks he sees a piece of gold, a couple pieces of gold down in there. There might even be a piece of gold right there. So let me go ahead and clean this out and I'll show you what, what we get. Back in a bit. All right, so this is what I was talking about a minute ago. This matting is uh, better than an eighth of an inch thick. So right here, there's a drop-off point that goes down to the classification plate. And it was trapping out gold there. The bigger pieces we're about to see in the pan were caught in there. So it's gonna add to the abilities of capturing gold in here. And there was small gold in, in a, uh, one of the cells here as well. So the mat's gonna work. I need to find a better way to come up with a ramp, and I've got some ideas, thanks to some people that uh, made comments. And uh, this is what we got. We only dug for about maybe 20 minutes. Don't know how well this is going to work, because this camera sucks as far as focusing goes. Come on. And you can see the two bigger pieces. There's about five in there. About three uh, really small micro dots as well. So that's good. That's what I wanted to know. Now we are going to get out of here and go do some scouting. Do some field work. That's right. Field work time. Say goodbye, Wayne. See you later, everybody. Goodbye, Big Gold Trap number one. <laughs> All right. We'll catch you later. Thanks. All for right. That. We made it back to the shop, and the other day I noticed I was getting kind of low on my 23 inch pay streak finder shipping boxes so i ordered two more bundles and they came in today they are down there stacked way at the end on the last pallet see them down there <laughs> so i'm all set with those pretty cool so i've got the super concentrates from today Wayne and I had a good time. Um, he dropped me back off. I left my vehicle where I was, and and uh, he dropped me back off. I had about another hour before daylight ended, so I did some more digging and got a little bit more gold. And there's the super concentrates. But I'm going to set this camera up on the tripod, and we're going to see if we can make this just a little bit easier. So I'll get back to you in a sec. Alright, we're back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the spin it off tool. This is very, very good. This is good stuff. Now, Dark Canyon Prospecting John, he can explain this to you far better than I can. But there's north and south with the magnets that's in this very, very powerful magnet. North and south poles operating. I don't know. He can, he can explain that better than I can. Um, his website will be up and going here pretty quick. He's selling these. And he's actually offered that I could also put them on my website as well. Um, so I might I might be selling them also. But you don't, I mean, you got to hook it up to a drill. So bringing it out in the field, I mean, you could, but I mean, just bring your concentrates back. So let's, uh, let's pull this magnetics off. You all see that working? chances of it pulling the gold is pretty damn slim unless you stick it right down in the black sand there you that so now let's uh 
dump those right in my other concentrates in the PlayStation. Wayne, if you're seeing this, that one stone that I kept, that tiny one that we thought was a good chunky piece from where we went, that was actually uh, fool's gold. I'm seeing it in here flickering its way down. Other pieces that is. first when I shot video footage before Wayne showed up and while Wayne was there before we left I didn't get much to what was there about five or six or seven pieces or something like that and then like I said when I came back I only had maybe 45 minutes of well not even I had to I had to pull the capture tray because you can't pan when when the Sun starts to go down you can't see what the hell you're doing so uh, let's see, about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. About 38 pieces there. And one of them's pretty nice. Let's see if I can get you guys a better look at this. Maybe. I don't have a little stone down here I can put in there, do I? I don't think so. Well, what do we have over here? This is some of that uh, stuff that I collected at another spot. That really, really heavy stuff that I still don't know what it is. Let's see if we can find a piece that will work. I'm going to have a glare. How about that? Come on, focus in on it. There. That one piece right there is pretty nice. Of course with the water it's making it look like it's not even gold but it is some pretty chunky stuff there I'm okay so I'm happy I got out that was the whole idea was just to test that dream mat and see if it was gonna work good and it does it does um, you do see I think it was Roger Watts I think you're the one that had said won't rocks going up and over that dream mat caused the gold to get kicked out. Well, yeah, it does, but where's it going to go? It's going to go directly in the capture tray or directly behind it. And that's the other thing. Um, there's a good drop off there, good, more than an eighth of an inch drop off, a little over an eighth of an inch. So gold's really getting trapped out along that line right there in, in the classification plate as, as it always has before anyway. But now it's causing it to drop out in there even more. So there's another indicator. So I think it's a complete su uh, success. I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to get a hold of Dave Peterson. And uh, I'm going to start getting that dream mat and offering it uh, as an add-on to anybody who wants it. I don't know. I guess it would be okay on the 23-inch too. Um, it's a shorter skid plate, but why not? I'm, I'm guessing it would be it would be fine on that as well. So... I'll just leave it up to the customers if they want it, ask for it, and I'll put a piece on. I do have to come up with a, a better on-ramp to the Dream Mat, um, so I've got to mull that over in my head and come up with something that'll 
stay in place. I'd like it so, and I've got an idea where, I mean, the ramp itself is going to prevent it from going anywhere. So if, if it's an on-ramp where you can actually remove the matting and clean it out, that would be nice. So I'll play around with that too. I don't know. I'd actually have to get out and test it, and here it is December 11th, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get back out again. I'd love to. Well, let me tell you what, that water was cold, especially where Wayne and I went. Whoo, right, Wayne? <laughs> it was cold up there. Um, so anyway, um, complete success, and uh, I'm happy. Now I've got to clean up my mess, so we'll catch you all later.